So you are a Lightroom subscriber. You have Lightroom Denoise and are wondering whether or not Lightroom Denoise is good enough. Well, to find out, I lined up Lightroom Denoise with DxO Pure Raw 4 to see which is best. Let's take a look. So let's begin with image quality. Looking at these samples here, we can see quite plainly that both are putting up a very good fight. If we're to look very closely, we can see that DxO Pure Raw 4 is coming ahead ever so slightly, depending on the particular picture. Nonetheless, this is an incredibly close race, and if you are an infrequent photo denoiser, I'm pretty sure you will consider the image quality of Lightroom Denoise to be plenty good enough. So in terms of operation, Lightroom Denoise could hardly be simpler. What we do is we go to our image, we right click and select enhance, and then we sort of set the amount of noise reduction we wish to apply from zero to 100. You click enhance, you wait a few seconds, and you have a denoised version of that image. Now DxO Pure Raw 4 is also very simple but we do have a little bit more flexibility. For instance we have two separate AI denoising models to choose from. We could also modify the strength of the noise reduction and the amount of detail forced upon the image. Thanks to this additional flexibility, it is much easier to sort of incrementally fine tune your way to an optimum result with DxO Pure Raw 4 than it is with Lightroom Denoise. Now then, let's talk a little bit about batch processing, starting with Lightroom Denoise. Now, it is very simple. We simply select our photos, we right click, go to enhance, we apply the setting that we think is best using the preview on a single image, click enhance, and then wait the seconds or minutes, depending on the size of the batch, to finish processing. Now batch processing in DxO Pure Raw is also very straightforward. Just as before, we select on our many images, we right click, go to processing now, select our noise reduction settings along with any optical corrections we may wish to apply. We hit go and then it will basically run through the queue. Yet despite the similarities in process, there are some key differences that you might like to be aware of. First of all, DxO Pure Raw 4 is quite noticeably faster than Lightroom Denoise. Here I am processing seven images using the highest setting, DxO's Deep Prime XD noise reduction, and we can see it's ticking over nicely. We can speed things up by dropping it to slightly lesser noise reduction in Deep Prime, and then we have Lightroom, which is pretty reasonable, but it is still noticeably slower than either of the DxO Pure Raw batch processes. The other key thing to be aware of is out of all of the noise reduction systems I've tested, none are so reliably excellent as DxO Pure Raw. In other words, Pure Raw, without your help, will often find the optimum result, making it an ideal choice for batch processing large numbers of photos. So, to conclude, is Lightroom Denoise better than DxO Pure Raw 4? Well, no, it isn't. The image quality is ever so slightly worse, and it is not quite as capable with batch processing. However, if you are an infrequent photo denoiser and perhaps only need a noise reduction for a few photos each month, Lightroom Denoise is incredibly good value. The image quality is excellent and if you are a Lightroom subscriber, it is effectively free. Conversely, the benefits of DxO Pure Raw 4 are only truly realized if you tend to denoise large numbers of images. For example, if you're shooting a lot of sports events inside halls or favor a little bit of astrophotography, you may be denoising many, many photos every single week. And in those cases, those marginal gains of image quality and the superior batch processing makes DxO Pure Raw 4 the one to get. Anyway, the good news is you do not need to take my word for any of this. And in the description below are links to free trials to both DxO Pure Raw 4 and Lightroom Denoise. I hope you found this comparison useful. My name is Richard from Silent Peak. Have a great day.